The SAP Build portfolio allows you to optimize and enhance business processes, like processing invoices, within your organization, making your business run smoother and better. In most organizations, many tools and systems are involved in end-to-end -end processes like these. As you can see in this example, processing invoices could involve SAP S4 HANA Cloud, Slack and the Microsoft Azure file system. Leveraging the SAP integration suite together with SAP Build allows you to create these connections and a complex architecture that fits your individual needs as a business. Let me show you the process flow that we have created here. Here you can see the vendor portal we created with SAP Build Workzone with its intuitive drag and drop functionality. This unified workspace for vendors displays all relevant data in so-called widgets. The portal allows the vendor to stay on top of business easily, eliminating the need to go to different sources to find the required data. Additionally, the integrated My Inbox application allows the vendor to check for and approve new invoices quickly. Let's move on to the supplier portal. Just like the vendor portal, this workspace displays all data relevant to the supplier. An application for uploading invoices created with SAP Build Apps is integrated directly into the workspace. The supplier simply clicks on the button and can select the invoice on their computer. This makes uploading invoices easy. Uploading an invoice via this application triggers a process instance of a workflow built with SAP Build Process Automation, which automatically initiates the next steps. Once the process is triggered, an RPA bot extracts data from the uploaded invoice with the Docs AI service. The original invoice is linked via the link functionality, giving the reviewer the chance to validate the extracted data. The reviewer then checks the data displayed in the approval form. There's also a table displaying the automatic validations done by decisions. The reviewer can leave a comment and either approve or reject the invoice. Back to the supplier portal. The supplier navigates to their My Inbox app via the configured tile. Supplier approval is also needed here, since the invoice is bigger than the defined threshold of 100 euro. The supplier approval triggers event-based integrations with one SAP and two non-SAP systems using the SAP integration suite. The first non-SAP system is Slack. Here. A notification is posted to the Slack channel of the payment department. The second non-SAP system is Microsoft Azure File Storage, which the approved invoices are posted to. The third and last integrated system is SAP S4 HANA. Approved invoices are posted to the system and a confirmation email containing the newly generated invoice ID is sent to the supplier. Let's take a look at how we've designed this process now. The invoice workflow was created with SAP Build Process Automation by creating and connecting process steps in the process editor. One of these process steps is an automation that extracts data from uploaded invoices using the Docs AI service. Then there are two different sets of decisions, one to automatically validate the invoices and one to determine the reviewers and approvers. A set of rules are defined via a decision table here, deciding about who is responsible to approve the invoice, depending on the company code, purchasing organization and purchase order type. The forms of this process were created with the forms editor, which allows the user to drag and drop layout and input fields into the canvas to build the needed form. Additionally, we've configured a process visibility cockpit that allows end-to-end -end process transparency. Moving on to SAP Build Apps. What you can see here is the application embedded in the supplier portal I've shown you earlier. It allows the user to easily upload invoices and was built with low-code, no-code simplicity in SAP Build Apps. The application is integrated with SAP Build Process Automation via REST API. It triggers the workflow you've just seen. Its user interface is embedded in SAP Build Workzone. And finally, I'll show you how we set up the SAP integration suite. It supports modern API-based and event-driven enterprise integration patterns. Let's navigate to the SAP Build integration scenarios. 
I've created a package here that contains multiple artifacts, four event-driven integration flows created in the SAP integration suite. They entail the different events I've shown you in the beginning of this demo. The advanced event mesh capability helps with sensing and responding to the invoice approval event. Three queues corresponding to the three subscribers have been created in advanced event mesh. You've now seen how SAP can deliver enterprise automation across multiple tasks and applications. Leveraging advanced integration capabilities like Event Mesh and Integration Flows, along with our no-code tooling from SAP Build, is a perfect match that will make your business run smoother and better.